finally so this video is about how i fix my issue with canon 80d and the webcam utility issue okay here's the thing you have multiple marketplaces i don't know which country you are from but i tried all the marketplaces which is australia europe japan i'm from india i tried india you need to download the webcam utility software from the respective country that you are in right but none of them haven't worked in my case it's just a trial and error so at one youtube video i just found the guy who is actually from usa so he just gave the link to uh, go to the us website and download the yours webcam so i can show you the link where from where for your specific model and your specific os so that's how you need to download the webcam utility software so that it can works fine go to your chrome go to canon usa you can see yours webcam utility click that that's with us right so you just scroll down select your your model your canon model so it, my in my case it's canon 80d and it it's it already detected it's mac and you need to select your os which is mac ventura so what you need to do is you need to download the first latest one which is around 179 mb so if i download the same webcam utility from from india or from japan or with europe it just like 44 mb it it doesn't show what type of uh, it just shows only two categories which is for mac or for windows but it doesn't show for which os you are downloading it there is no no such information but when you go to the us marketplace you have all this information and the right software that you can download it works perfectly so once you downloaded that eos webcam utility software you just make sure that if there is any previous installations you just make sure you just deleting those files and freshly install this webcam utility software okay so once you download that you can simply go to your display capture you just add a new resource uh, click a plus icon go to your video capture device you just name it as video capture device 2 and go to the device and click the webcam utility pro that's it so once you download that it will fix the issue so here's the catch so basically we use two softwares with canon one is this one which is eos utility which is to transfer our photos control your uh, camera virtually and the other software we use as a webcam is this software but once you have these two softwares within mac os you you might have uh, faced an issue where um, here you can see my video here but if, if you have the two softwares the camera source will be first detected with eos utility so in that case it doesn't allow the webcam to access the camera at first i just tried all the ways how to disable that eos utility at the background i just try to search all the platforms all the forums but i couldn't find a solution but in windows you just simply go to the taskbar and right click that and disable the uh, eos utility at the startup so that's that's a one solution that you can do with windows but when it comes to mac it doesn't work so what i've did is i just simply uninstall eos utility so that webcam uh, utility doesn't uh, crashes with the eos utility and it takes full control of it you need eos utility just for few things just to transfer a photo uh, take a, uh, have a virtual uh, camera like to control exposure uh, iso and all those stuff that's the only thing that you need a eos utility software other than that whatever you recording over there you can simply remove the sd card and copy that in the file so that's a one of the easiest way that you can use so that you don't you don't even want the eos utility software at first so just uninstall it only have the eos webcam utility software in obs so that you can get the videos it works it it worked for me uh, and um, yeah it it actually works so i started this obs setup to do a reaction video so my goal is to capture the display separately my camera separately and my audio separately so i achieved that using a white screen where you can see i just i just made a white screen at the far left and my display at the far right so that i can go and crop that in, uh, in any video editing software and the other way i can suggest in if you are f still facing the webcam issue uh, your video is not showing in the uh, mac i can suggest you one more way you can simply use display capture in your mac alone 
and you can use your SD card as a standalone record device to capture your video so that you can take that video source as a single file and your display source as a single file and you can do your editing manually but the downside is i'm using my external microphone which is connected to my audio interface and it goes to the mac so i can get the clear audio and that's the only i mean i'm just using an external microphone so if you have a labio microphone or with any other shotgun microphone you can simply uh, connect to the canon camera itself and you can have a clear audio but this is the one thing that you might have a downside where you can't cook this audio directly to your uh, video source so if you are using any shotgun i think that would work i can quickly show you how you can separate all the three sources individually and edit that in final cut pro so i'm just taking the latest video the last recorded video and put this in final cut pro i'm just replacing it so you might see um, uh, this video just right click it and detach audio so it it just shows uh, audio file here you can see there are three audio sources which is dialog 1 and dialog 2 so you can further expand this by right clicking it and expanding the audio components so the first one is going to be your uh, display capture audio so here i just explained go through the browser and i just explained it but if you if you are playing any videos the first audio will be captured in the uh, first one vocal would be on the second one so what you need to do is you just want to simply expand it and you can you can play around with the decibels like which which one to make louder at times and uh, your display capture audio you can play around with that so if i play it so i'm just taking the latest video the last recorded video as you can see in final cut. it clearly shows um, you have a two separate source one is with desktop audio and one with this mic and with respect to the video all you need to do is you just simply click this video go to transform go to trim yeah before going to trim this video you just make a duplicate of it just simply holding option and drag it so once you drag that down you just made the first clip you can uh, you can choose the first clip as your uh, video source crop the video source so once you crop that you you just have your uh, uh, video source as a one file you just click done if you disable this one and you can see uh, i have my video source uh, alone and if you if i disable this and enable the second one go to crop uh, go to trim trim the same thing yeah so once you trim that So once you trim that you have your video source so you just scale this one and move it to the desert direction so once you have the source and if you enable this clip you can resize it and put this one wherever you want you decide if you want to put this in middle you can do it or objective is to record the video source separately the display capture separately and the mic so separately and we achieved all these things without using any additional plugin everything is native and if you have any other questions please comment down below i will try to answer that if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and share this to any other person who is struggling with this mac obs thingy cheers guys